my name is Wendy Price and I have been here at Whitefield High School for three years. I really like working with students. I did work at Mesa Ridge for a little while. But when the job opening opened up here, I went ahead and applied for it. I felt very welcome as soon as I came here by all of the staff and the students, even though you know I am in the discipline office or sometimes it's a little crazy, I still I don't mind. It's it's a good thing. The funniest thing for everyone else in the office was the time I fell out of my chair and they watched it on the video over and over. I know what my dream job is now, I would either want to be on diners, drive-ins, and dives, or I'd be a concert reviewer, so I'd go to concerts all the time. The best perk about being a secretary is that I am a 10-month employee and I get two months off in the summer. My name is Melissa Malone Terry and I've been in the district for six years at Whitefield for four. I was the ISD monitor over at Watson and the opportunity opened up. My favorite part of the job is the students. We actually keep a log of all of the crazy things that parents say when they call us, so I'm going to read this one. And the parent told us I was carrying my son's bag with his homework in it, and it flew out of his bag because it was windy. I wanted to get him to school on time, so I came back afterwards to find it, but it was gone. My idol. My idol will have to be my mom. She is one of the most strongest people that I know, just with a huge heart, a big heart, loves everybody, takes care of everybody, and I've always liked that about her. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a teacher. And when I got to college, I started going down that road and thought, oh, I don't want to do that. And every job that I've had since then has been some form of facilitating or dealing with education. Everybody calls a lot of times and says that we don't answer the phones, but we do, and we take a lot of calls on a daily basis, and sometimes people don't realize that. My name is Carol Kawakami, and I've been in the district for six years in Whitefield High School for two. So I got my bachelor's degree in business, and I was in the corporate world for a while, and then I wanted to be able to spend some more time with my kids, so when the opportunity arose for me to apply for the district, I got my first job at Watson, and then when the opportunity opened up for me to come to Whitefield, I applied and got the job. So when I was a kid, I wanted to be a race car driver. I don't know why, but I just thought it was super fun. When I was in college, I kind of aspired to be in the FBI, and I did interview and talk to them and decided to go another route. One perk of being a secretary, I guess, again, is just getting to know the students. You know, whereas teachers have certain students in their class, I guess we might have the opportunity to get to know more students sometimes. My name is Ashley Chandler, and on April 11th, I'll have been here for two years. I think as far as just coming to the district kind of felt like coming home, in a sense, and everyone here knew, and so I wanted to grow with them and develop with them. I'd say my favorite part of the job, and I know everyone says it, is just being here. If I had any type of need, there are several people here, pretty much the entire staff that I could go to and say, hey, I need this, and they would rally together to help me out. This year during Super Bowl, because I'm a diehard Patriots fan, I had all of my Patriots stuff on my door, and then the kids would come and they'd flip my signs upside down, they'd remove everything, so it's just fun to kind of play with them around the Super Bowl. So most people will say their parents are their idol, but I think for me, my kids are really my idol. They're both just very free-spirited and fun and passionate about the things that they love. As a kid, I wanted to be a hairdresser just because I wanted to hang out with people and I still love playing with people's hair and now I have two kids who have great hair so I get to play with them all the time. I do get a ton of interaction with the kids, but they're not learning for me. I really just get to talk to them about life and what's going on with them personally, so it's just really nice to get to know people for a personal level. My name is Diane McAdoo, and I've been in the district for 16 years. The Whitefield's just a great small community, and it was a great place to raise our daughters. Oh, excuse me, just a sec, guys. Whitefield High School Principal's Office, this is Diane. Oh, ma'am, let me get you transferred. You're welcome. Thanks for your call. Bye. Sorry, that happens all the time. We were talking about the funniest or craziest thing. I would say working for Mr. Hoffman. He is a little crazy and he is quite a character. As I'm sure everybody knows, but I didn't know that coming into this position three years ago that I was going to have to always be careful of things flying at me, being thrown at me, my pencil being taken away from me, my chair all of a sudden going down, or just different things. So I'm always having to stay on my toes. Just a moment, please. Whitefield High School Principal's Office, this is Diane. 
Okay, for parents, I would like to say, please press one when you need attendance. And also, please remember that when we have a two hour delay, sorry guys, just a sec, or two and a half hour delay, you just add that time on to when the school day starts. I am a 12 month secretary and what's really awesome about working here is everybody here wants to make students better. They want for the future to be better for them. You know, really, who wouldn't want to work with people like that? My name is Vicki Abeda. I've been here, this is my 17th year. My fourth year in the counseling center and before that was in the attendance office. Would allow me to be closer to my school-aged children. So it just was easier job-wise and commute-wise to be down here, here in Whitefield. I like the small town feel of Whitefield. Just makes you feel more close-knit and stronger as a community rather than living up in Colorado Springs. Initially, I wanted to be an airline stewardess. And then I ended up going to school and took a couple of classes in that and realized it wasn't what I wanted to do. And I actually have wanted to be a secretary ever since then. My idol. When I was little, it used to be Elvis. My name is Thaddeus Hall. I've been in Whitefield for 25 years. Well, the, over the years, I've, I've been part of the Culture Club and recently I've been Club for minority males to help them make better choices, to be good young men, to be educated, to be well spoken, so it's really, really good. My favorite part of the job is helping kiddos realize their dreams, that anything out there is attainable. They just got to be willing to put in the work. Well, when I was a kid, I wanted to play in the NFL because I loved football and I played football in high school. Then I also thought about being an actor, I don't know why, but um, as time went on. I love working with kids, and so being a counselor was my call. What breaks my heart is that you wish you could fix everything, but you can't. But you do your best to make it work and uh, give them a solution to their question, when I ask what's their question. And, but it just breaks my heart when I know I can't fix it, and I can't fix it right away. And I know I want to. My name is Eric Thiel, and I've been at Whitefield High School since 1991. I currently counsel seniors. My favorite part of the job is working with the students one-on-one on, one on whatever it is that they need help with. I became a counselor after being a teacher because I was inspired by one of the counselors here at the time. The first school I taught at was actually Whitefield High School. My first job after I got my teaching license was here as a business teacher at Whitefield High School in 1991. We really do try to do our best to meet the needs of, of the individual student. We see ourselves as student advocates. Of course we have to hold them accountable when necessary, but but a lot of times kids or students need to know that they have someone who's on their side in situations to the point where they feel truly supported and know that they're not in whatever their situation is by themselves. My name is Emily Christensen and this is my first year. I currently have the 11th graders and I'll be moving up to the 12th graders next year. I'd say my favorite part of the job is making relationships and connections with both the staff and the students and the parents. My idol would have to be my grandpa and my dad. They both go through life with a very calm, poised, uh, peaceful dignity and uh, would like to emulate that. One thing that I'd like people to know about my job is just the importance of mental health because it's not just a student concern, it's not just a parent concern, it's not just a teacher concern, it's just everyone across the board. So taking care of yourself, taking that time that you need for you is just really, really important. My name is Ben Baldwin. I have been at Whitefield High School for, I think, 12 years. I have the sophomores class of 2020. It's fun to see students, and you know, students aren't really that different than they were back a thousand years ago when I was in high school. Same things. I mean, technology has changed and all, but there's so much similarity. So I, I'll sometimes look at people and be like, oh, that person reminds me of so-and-so, or that would have been so-and-so back 30 years ago. I graduated from Syracuse with a degree in psychology. Started working with kids with problems, gang kids, things like that, and treatment centers, and then eventually moved to school counseling. I would like students and parents to know that they are not the only person. I have 360 sophomores, and I have the parents of 360 sophomores. And you got to understand the big picture. My name is Becky Witt, and I've been at Whitefield for nine years. I am a high school social worker, and I work with all grades. My idol is Bono and Mother Teresa because they help those in need. There is a lot of community resources here in Whitefield and I can connect them with those community resources. Also just that I can help kids problem solve, teacher problem solve, uh, learn coping skills, 
but there's help out there if you need it. Steven Portugal, I've been here for 11 years. I'm one of the special education teachers here, as well as I also coach uh, tennis in the fall. It's something about our students with IEPs, well, I know they can sometimes be challenging as far as meeting their needs, whether it's behavior or academic. However, one of the perks of this job is not knowing exactly what's going to happen each day. It's kind of fun basically living precariously in the moment where I'm not sure if there's going to be a crisis or if someone's going to need extra support or if something's happening that they will need extra assistance. And so I just, even though it can be challenging and time consuming for our teachers for IP meetings and such, it's, uh, you know, when you get to work with these students, you know, it's, uh, it's a different dynamic that's a given. However, fun, they a lot of them just enjoy life, they mean well, their intentions are good. We just need to think differently about sometimes how we approach them or think, you know, how we can get them to learn something because they are, um, are different. Their needs are diverse and diverse.